Hi, I'm Victoria Ballou, and I have a tarot reading just for you. Synchronicity brought you here in this moment, and I know the reason why. It's to put your feet on the path of living at your highest potential, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Today, we're going to take a look, a very close look, at the non-binary archetypes of the Major Arcana, in previous videos here on my channel, I've given you a look at the women and men of the Major Arcana and the court cards. Now, let's see what archetypes are represented in the rest of this Arcana lineup. Remember, archetypes are common, fundamental characteristics we see in ourselves and in everyone else. The Tarot, Major Arcana, and court cards embody a wide diversity of archetypes and recognizing yourself in the cards allows you to more fully develop who you authentically are. And when you do that, you can more easily put your feet on the path of living at your highest potential. I call it living in the wow. Let's take a look at the first archetype, the lovers. The epitome of non-binary, both male and female are represented on this card. Childlike innocence, curiosity, and playfulness is what this energy is all about. Loyalty and commitment also factor into this archetype. Plus, you follow your intuition and what has heart and meaning to you. Does the lover's card resonate with you? Next is adjustment, or in the Rider-Waite-Smith deck, it's known as justice. People who resonate with this card are those of you who must complete whatever you start. Financial and legal balance are important. They're really essential. Business savvy comes naturally to you, and you express yourself well through writing, research, and design. Your creative ideas are frequently expressed in tangible ways. Does this resonate with you? Yeah, adjustment is a great one. Next, we have the Wheel of Fortune. If you believe that you can make your own luck, your own fortune by taking positive, objective directions in your life, then this card is for you. Reaching for new opportunities and expressing your creative power are some of your strongest points, along with the ability to take risks, which often pay off. Yeah, that's a great, that's a great energy to resonate with. Then, let's take a look at the death card. I know it sounds grim, but actually, this card resonates with the archetypal energy of detachment and release with the intent of making a completely fresh start. It also means you have the ability to cut through old binding patterns and that you can take care of yourself, oh, except when things are falling over, um, that you can take care of yourself and protect yourself during times of change. Do you possess this energy? This is, this is a very powerful energy, I must say, even with that grim name. What about the next card, the devil? Again, from the name, it doesn't sound like a desirable card, but it resonates with the admirable qualities of centeredness and stability when it's at its highest aspects, right? When you're, you've achieved its highest aspects. However, addiction and self-indulgence can be in its lower archetypal traits. Uh, but also sensuality and sexuality are hallmarks of this energy, along with tremendous creative energy. Do you have a little of the devil in you? Okay, so let's take a look at the tower card. This one is all about healing and restoration. Uh, these are the foundations of this archetype. What isn't truly a part of your nature will um, you'll come to recognize and you'll throw it out of your life. Only authentic aspects of who you really are will be accepted by you when you are resonating at the highest level of this energy. It also means inner peace is an operating principle for you at this point. 
That's a great card to have. And then look at this. Here's the moon. Yeah, okay. If you relate to this card, then you make choices about embracing your authentic self over a, a false persona or dutiful self. Think about that. You are ready to leave old worlds behind to explore new frontiers. You release aspects of yourself that no longer serve you. Is this moon energy part of your profile, of your energetic makeup? What about the beautiful sun energy? Wow, this is life force in all its glory. People who embody this archetype are natural generators, motivators, stimulators in their personal and professional lives. You are a champion in group work and in sharing a creative vision, joy and excitement you put into practical use. Is this part of your energy? Okay, so now let's take a look at the Aeon. Yeah, good judgment is what this is all about, both in your personal life and in your professional life. Those are the hallmarks of this archetype. It also reflects creative energy, which is properly used to give birth to new forms in both family and work environments. This energy allows you to clearly see how to forgive yourself and others, realizing this is necessary to move forward in spiritual growth. We're working with really big, high level energy here with the Aeon. And then finally, yeah, here, here it is, the universe. This archetype resonates with the integration and completion of deep inner work on your part where you've unified polarities and opposites in your life. It means union with multiple parts of yourself where you've cut through the restrictions and limitations to let go and move forward in a dynamic way, physically, mentally, spiritually. If you feel the energy of the universe card within you, congratulations. Woo, that was a lot of ground to cover. I hope these quick descriptions give you just an idea so you can choose two, three, or more of these archetypes so you can recognize yourself in these. Because remember, coming to know who you truly are is a profound journey that we should all take. And these Tarot Major Arcana cards will help.